In today's episode, we remember social reformer Ramanath Tagore, who died on the 10th of June, 1873. In his younger age, he was attracted towards the ideas of Raja Ram Mohan Roy and was one of the original trustees of the Brahma Samaj. A leading social figure in 19th century Kolkata, Ramanath Tagore was born on the 26th of October, 1801. He was the younger brother of Dwarkanath Tagore. He helped form the Brahma Samaj. He also initiated the establishment of the British Indian Association and was its president from 1867 to 1877. The Indian Association played a catalytic role in building up political consciousness. In association with Prasanna Kumar Tagore, Ramanath Tagore started the paper Indian Reformer. He contributed extensively to the Harkara, an Englishman, under the pseudonym Hindu. As a member of the Bengal Legislative Council, Ramanath Tagore advocated the rights of the tenants and was named the Rayat's friend. He was nominated to the Viceroy's Council in 1873 and was made a Maharaja by Viceroy Lytton. Ramanath Tagore continued to work for the people till his death. We salute the great India. We also remember Gandhian freedom fighter Ponaga Kanakamma who was born on the 10th of June 1892 in Nellore district, Andhra Pradesh. She participated in the non-cooperation movement and sold Satyagraha and is credited for founding Sri Kasturi Devi Vidyalayam, a large school for girls in her home district. Though Punaka Kanakamma had no formal schooling, she acquired proficiency in Telugu, Hindi and Sanskrit by her own efforts. In 1913, she started Sujana Ranjini Samajam in Potlapuri village near Nellore to serve the society. She worked for the upliftment of depressed classes. For a brief period, she was under the spell of revolutionary politics and hosted Bipin Chandrapal during his visit to Nellore in 1907. Kanakamma later became an ardent disciple of Mahatma Gandhi. She donated 13 acres of land to establish the Pinakini Satyagraha Ashram near Nellore, which was inaugurated by Gandhiji on the 7th of April 1921. For participating in the non-cooperation movement and salt Satyagraha, Kanakamma underwent one and a half years of rigorous imprisonment. Polyaka Kanakamma hosted many eminent freedom fighters and poets at her residence in Potlapuri. In 1923, Kanakamma founded Sri Kasturi Devi Vidyalam as a part of Gandhiji's constructive program and Gandhiji laid the foundation stone for the permanent building in 1929. This sprawling Kasturi Devi Vidyalam campus extended to about 23 acres is a living monument for Kanakamma. Kanakamma continued to work for the betterment of people till her death in 1963. We also remember freedom fighter Makka Pasi, who took part in the First War of Independence in 1857. Makka was a high military official in the Nawab of Awadh's army. He organized 200 soldiers and led them to fight against a British battalion passing through Barabanki from Awadh. Makka Pasi, along with his comrades, halted the British battalion on its way near village Chinhat on the 10th of June 1857 and fought bravely. After a fierce fight, Makka Pasi was shot dead by the British.